Time to start planning for your picnic. If you're throwing a party on the 4th of July, the guys from Olson's Piggly Wiggly are here with some great ideas. And not just one or two ideas. <laughs> if the whole counter is full of salads and stuff, and all this is available at the store? Absolutely. We have it available. You come in, take a little home. If you're looking to throw a party this 4th of July, we have a catering uh, with our deli, and we'd be happy to make you know as many big salads as you like. Okay, well, um, these guys, BJ and Corey, shared two recipes last hour. They'll be on our website, and right now you're going to talk about your famous coleslaw. Yeah, we have a couple of homemade coleslaws. This one's the Olson signature slaw. What is what it, makes it the signature? Well, it's you're about the to tell personal me, right? Touch. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> But uh, no, we actually had a customer come in and ask, well, we have two different creamy styles, why don't we have a vinaigrette style? So he explained it to us as best as he could. We tried our best to come up with it, had him taste it, and he said we knocked her out of the ballpark. Awesome. So, well, you going to show us how to make it? You bet. That's a few ingredients. Um, you start out with some lemon juice. You can use fresh lemons for television purposes. I'll just pour in okay. that. Okay. But you could oh. use Fresh your lemons own would lemons. actually be All right. better. Um, probably about a qu quarter, third of a cup of lemon juice. Um, okay. White wine vinegar. Um, probably a third of a cup of that, too. Okay. Almost even amounts. And then some Rhine wine. Any Cooked with beer one? last time, we've got wine this oh, time. Absolutely. <laughs> Pour a little of that in there. And to give it a little heat, use a pure horseradish. Love horseradish. Yeah, about, mm -hmm. about a teaspoon. And That's you throw a that in generous there. teaspoon. That's <laughs> the way I like it. <laughs> then, yeah. of course, your olive oil. And you want the olive oil to be uh, equal proportions to the amount of other liquids you put in. So okay. if you put in a cup of other liquids, you put in a cup Add of olive oil. Add in a cup oil. of olive oil. You bet. And you just give that a whisk. And the sweetness comes from the honey. Okay. So you can make this as sweet as you like or as tart as you like, you know. Okay. For a different taste. Kind of taste halfway through and see what you like. Ab and you see if you want to add more or not. Absolutely. And, and then you just toss in your... Toss in your, uh, your cabbage. cabbage. I do have a red onion mixed in there also. Okay. And you just give that a little mix and you're good to go. Awesome. Okay, now while you're mixing that up and finishing it, Corey. Okay. BJ, why don't you talk about some of the other salads that you brought with today. Let's start with the one with the cucumbers okay, over there. Okay, that's our, um, our summer cucumber salad. Um, tomatoes, red onions, and it has a great zesty Italian dressing, mm -hmm. which you can buy at the store. Um, we have our signature coleslaw. This is our Parmesan artichoke salad. Um, and while the camera's right, that was the cucumber. This is the coleslaw they just made. And take a look at this artichoke salad. The presentation is fabulous. Yep. And what, what's inside? Okay, uh, we have uh, some peas in there, frozen green peas, some black olives, um, bow tie pasta, lots of Parmesan, pesto, goes on and on. It's a great salad. You can find it in the deli. Um, they're just, featuring it this week. That would be something special to bring. Right. That's the po uh, potato, potato salad, salad you made correct. last uh -huh. time. We have right. recipes for that. Here's mm -hmm. a creamy coleslaw. Right. right. And then let's focus on these two over here okay. with this. This is a special pasta salad, right? right? This is made with gluten-free pasta. Um, a lot of people can't have the whole wheat products these days, so um, uh, the flour products, I'm sorry. And uh, so what we did was I incorporated a um, uh, black-eyed pea salad. Oh. And it has a little tart vinaigrette um, over the top of it, but a, a slight sweetness to it, too, also. And they so, do have, speaking of sweets, uh, the, yeah. the bread pudding and fruit right. is um, just... Uh, our deli gals um, are super over there that work with me, and um, uh, one of the gals put this together. It's um, uh, a great um, summer bread pudding. Yeah, it's really delicious. We're going to get our forks and our spoons ready. Pete's going to join us here, and we'll do a little sampling coming up uh, just to let you know at home how good it really is. If you would like to try it for yourself, you can make some of the um, ones that they shared recipes for, or you can just go to Olson's Piggly Wiggly. It's on Lineville Road in Howard. Uh, we'll be right back. You're watching Good Day Wisconsin. Thanks, guys. You're Thank welcome. you. Great Thank you. stuff. Mm -hmm.